Now, a lot of this NDI news is going to be announced at the NAB show, but we didn't have an NAB show. So we're going to bring this up here. NDI version 4.5, brand new version, lots of cool new features. Glenn, why don't you walk us through the things that you think are most important in NDI 4.5? Yeah, I, you know, one of the biggest things has been the, the big improvements again with NDI HX. So they're continuing to improve the performance with that, improve the reliability. And, and NDI HX has kind of been, you know, love it, hate it type thing. I mean, it's great for a lot of, lot of functions. Um, it's a lower bandwidth, so it's lower latency. It's, it's lower bandwidth, so it's easier to work with. But it's always kind of been a little bit slower and a little bit more of a dog to work with. They have continued to make improvements, so it's much more reliable now. The latency is much quicker. That's one of the big improvements. Um, you know, they've now continued to improve the iOS app. So now you've got, you know, real-time performance on that. You've got recording on the I iOS app as well. Um, you know, the other thing that's kind of neat is... Um, you know, they've added that the folks with Unreal have kind of stepped forward and started integrating, you know, NDI into the Unreal Engine itself, which, you know, for a lot of people doing e-gaming, that opens up a whole lot of things. But, you know, if you also know the Unreal infrastructure, you know, that potentially opens up a lot of other things for virtual sets and and, and augmented reality. and just opens up a lot of, lot of other great opportunities with that. Um, again, yeah. continuing to move. And one of the things I like is now any computer can record any stream that when you're right. producing a show, which, you know, it's important to record all the video, but a lot of times what would happen is, you know, your TriCaster or your vMix, or your box would be spending so much time recording, it wouldn't have all those computer power assets to do all the other stuff you wanted to do. So now you can put any laptop with some external fast storage hooked up to it, and you can be recording whatever streams you want from your show. And I think that's a real important feature. I want to thank New Tech for giving that to us because it was something they talked about early on that we'd have. Took a little while to get it stable enough that we could do it. 